Hello students, welcome to Mahesh Angri Science YouTube channel. Here we are discussing a chapter cell cycle and cell division. In that we are discussing meiosis. In the previous video we discussed the key features of meiosis. What is meiosis and what are the key features of meiosis. All those things we discussed in the previous video. Here in this video we are going to discuss what kind of changes occurs inside the each phase of the meiosis okay uh, this is going to be very 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 important okay please watch till the end okay see here meiosis is further divided into okay meiosis is further divided into two cycles of nuclear division and cell division which are known as meiosis 1 meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 so let's first talk about meiosis 1 meiosis 1 in meiosis 1 the first phase is called prophase prophase 1 in meiosis 1 the first phase is called what prophase 1 okay see here prophase 1 is prophase 1 is typically longer typically longer and more complex phase than that of the than that of the prophase of mitosis see here we already studied mitosis we studied a prophase but here prophase 1 is much longer and more complex than that of the prophase of the mitosis see here if the if one question is asked to you which is the longest phase of the cell cycle if the options are given as prophase prophase then metaphase anaphase and telophase telophase then what is your answer is going to be see if which is the longest phase of the cell cycle then if these four options are given what is your answer is going to be yes you are correct that is prophase prophase but what if the same question but different options see here what which is the longest phase of the cell cycle that was the question and options are given like this option a is your prophase option b is prophase 1 and option c is prophase 2 prophase 2 then then which is your answer is going to be yes guess what right now now if you say prophase that's wrong because prophase 1 prophase 1 is much longer typically longer and more complex phase than that of the mitosis that's why your answer is prophase 1 okay now i hope you understood then what see here then prophase is further divided into five phases prophase 1 is further divided into five phases let's see which are those the first one is leptotene leptotene the second one is zygotene okay zygotene then leptotene zygotene third one is pecaitene pecaitene fourth one is diplotene diplotene then fifth one is dikinesis okay so these are the five sub phases in prophase one these are the sub phases that is leptotene zygotene pecaitene diplotene and dikinesis how to remember them sequentially okay how to remember them sequentially we can use one mnemonics which is very popular that is lata zara pani de de na see here lata zara pani de de na like that huh? there is one mnemonics okay here lata stands for what l zara means what z pani for p 
दे देना ओके लाइक दैट यू कैन रिमेम्बर ऑल द फाइव फेजेस सिक्वेंसियली ओके लाइक दैट यू इवन यू कैन मेक यूर ओन फॉर्मूला ओके लाइक दैट यस सी हेर नाउ लेट एस स्टडी देम वन बाय वन ओके नाउ लेट एस स्टडी देम वन बाय वन द फर्स्ट फेज इज लैपटोटीन ओके द फर्स्ट फेज इज वॉट लैपटोटीन ओके देन वॉट चेंजेस ऑकर्स इन द लैपटोटीन See here. Now let us assume this is a cell. This is our cell. Okay. This is our cell. And here, here there is there were a nucleolus. And here is our what a chromatin. Okay. Chromatin which undergone replication during the S phase of the cell cycle. Now in the beginning of the prophase, what happens? See condensation of chromosome occurs. this nucleolus gradually get disappears and the condensation of chromosome occurs the same thing occurs here in a lactotin also okay the same thing occurs in lactotin also here the compaction of chromosome will continue the first thing is first thing is chromatin will start getting condensing and it will appear like a chromosomes okay chromatin will take the will take the shape of a chromosome okay will take the shape of a chromosome and and start appearing like a chromosomes under light microscope okay first they getting condensing and appearing like a chromosomes under a light microscope after that the compaction the compaction of chromosome will continue chromosome will get compact okay condense okay due to which they start clearly visible like this okay they start clearly visible like this okay here i am using different colors so that we can understand the next concepts very easily okay yes this is how the chromosomes will start clearly visible in the first phase that is leptotin and in the second phase that is zygotin okay in which what happens let us see in zygotin let's see what happens one important important change occurs during the zygotin what was that let us see the chromosomes will start pairing the chromosomes will start pairing especially what kind of chromosomes a homologous chromosomes start pairing here see here uh, there were four chromosomes out of which two are similar in size but shown in different colors okay see here this chromosome and this chromosome they are similar in size and this chromosome so small chromosome small chromosome they are almost similar in size but shown in different color see here these are the homologous chromosome okay one chromosome came from father side and another chromosome came from mother side but carrying same type of genes okay they are carrying same type of genes hence they are said to be homologous chromosomes okay here these two are also a homologous chromosome one from father side and another from mother side okay again they are carrying same type of genes we can say okay these chromosomes will start pairing that is what a characteristic feature of a zygotin okay see here let me show the what change occurs during the zygotin in the diagram itself see here homologous chromosomes start pairing okay homologous chromosomes start pairing okay these ha huh, chromosomes come to close to each other okay homologous chromosome start pairing okay like this this is one of the important feature remember this change uh, did not occurred while studying in mitosis this is one of the characteristic feature of meiosis and that to be observed under what what zygotin stage here homologous chromosomes start pairing homologous chromosomes start pairing and this phenomena is called synapsis 
this one is called what synapsis okay what is synapsis uh, uh, such questions might be asked synapsis is the nothing but it's a process in which homologous chromosomes start pairing synapsis is the process in which homologous chromosomes start pairing okay after pairing after pairing they are going to form one complex structure that is known as synaptonemal complex synapto synaptonemal complex okay synaptonemal complex let's see let's see what was that complex is see here let's assume this is one one homologous chromosome this came from father side and imagine this is a second homologous chromosome came from mother side now what happens they come close to each other that is what homologous chromosome start pairing okay that is synapsis okay after that what happens they forms they fuse and forms one structure one structure known as synaptomial complex synaptomial complex this is how it looks like see here in the diagram i will show you okay let me show with the help of a blue colored marker this is one chromosome and its opponent pair huh? opponent homologous chromosome comes here and attaches with this and forms a synaptonemal complex like this okay huh? if we observe them hmm, by the sides it appears something like this hmm? they joined face to face but now for uh, understanding purpose i am showing like this okay they appear like this see one is one is blue colored chromosome and second one is red colored okay huh? this is like this uh, a structure forms that structure is called synaptonemal complex and after the formation of this complex it is said as tetrad it is said as what tetrad or bivalent bivalent okay see here homologous chromosomes they got fused fused and formed what one structure called synaptonemal complex and this one is also called as tetrad why it is called tetrad why it is called tetrad see here let's assume this is one chromosome okay uh, if in this chromosome how many chromatids are there see here there were two chromatids see this one is this one is one chromatid and this one is the other chromatid and these are called as these chromatids are called sister chromatids okay sister chromatid they are attached to the what a central centromere okay see here this chromosome is having two sister chromatids now in this uh, synaptonemal complex how many chromatids are there see here two chromatid from one chromosome and two more chromatids from another chromosome so hence there are four chromatids okay four chromatids that structure uh, after formation of this structure it is called what a tetrad or bivalent okay now now such chromosomes are said to be what bivalent chromosomes okay i hope the points regarding this are clear to you in zygote in what happens homologous chromosomes start pairing synapsis will occur after the formation of synapsis a complex structure forms that a structure is known as synaptonemal complex and this synap due to synapsis of homologous chromosome a uh, chromosomal structure formed is called as tetrad or bivalent okay this is how the structure forms okay now let's move on to the next stage that is pycitin okay pycitin or pycitin okay pycitin third stage called pycitin in which what happens let us see pycitin see here in the third sub phase of for phase 1 pycitin once again one more important change is going to occur that is called as crossing over crossing over okay 
remember this point which is going to be very very important characteristic feature of the meiosis especially for phase 1 huh? so here in for phase 1 crossing over occurs at which stage at pecaitin stage compared to leptotin and zygotin pecaitin is much longer phase see here leptotin and zygotin are the shorter phases than the pecaitin that means pecaitin is a quite a longer phase in which what happens crossing over happens what do you mean by crossing over see here in the tetrad in the tetrad two homologous chromosomes got paired okay after pairing what happens they exchange their chromatids see they exchange their chromatids here we can show it here we can show it see here see here this chromosome shares a some portion of chromatid with the another homologous chromosome okay this is how a crossing over will happen crossing over will happen and this chromosome took up a small portion small portion of that chromosome and this chromosome takes up takes up a small portion of this chromosome this is how this is how the genetic material slightly get exchanged between the chromosomes okay slightly exchange between the chromosomes some genes some genes got what exchanged in between the homologous chromosomes okay that phenomena is called what crossing over this crossing over leads to what genetic variations because of this crossing overs genetic variations takes place genetic variations takes place okay because of this only uh, no two siblings are identical siblings means what here See here siblings are nothing but brothers and sisters okay no two brothers and sisters are exactly same even no two no two progenies are same just as the parents in sexual reproduction see here sexual reproduction what is the characteristics of the sexual reproduction see here in case of sexual reproduction genetic variations are possible okay that genetic variation is happening just because of the crossing over taking place in which sub phase of the prophase in the pecaitin phase of the prophase it is taking place because of which because of which genetic variations are possible and this genetic variation leads to what evolution it supports the evolution okay if there were no crossing in meiosis then might probably might probably uh, offsprings are similar to as that of the parents no new traits will be observed in the progeny because of the crossing over new traits are getting coming in the progenies okay see this is what a important phase that is pecaitin in which exchange of genetic material will takes place in the tetrad okay see here the tetrad shares some of the portions of its its chromatids this is how huh, they shares some portions okay here huh, some exchange of genetic material might be observed in the tetrad or bivalent now let's move on to the next stage that is diplotin okay diplotin see here in the diplotin dissolution of synaptomial complex will takes place in diplotin diplotin dissolution of synaptomial synaptonemal synaptonemal complex takes place due to which due to which the tetrad huh, will get separate okay the chromosomes will get slightly separate except the sites of crossing over okay Cro except the sites of crossing over the tetrad that results into formation of a x shaped structure called chiasmata that leads to the formation of a x shaped structure in the chromosome called chiasmata chiasmata okay this is how 
this is how in diplotin stage diplotin stage dissolution of synoptonemal complex takes place the chromosomes will get slightly separate except the sites of a crossing over and a x shaped structure is going to form called what chiasmata okay let's see what happens in the last phase that is dikinesis okay in the last phase dikinesis again the chiasmata is going to get separate okay the chiasmata is going to separate and and uh, meiotic me, uh, meiotic no, what a spindle is going to form that means a spindle fiber huh, are going to form the centrosomes move towards the opposite pole okay in last phase of dikinesis meiotic spindle is going to form that means the centrosome move towards the opposite uh, poles and uh, with the formation of spindle fiber and microtubules called asters along with that along with that in a dikinesis stage the nuclear membrane gradually what disappears nuclear membrane gradually disappears even nucleolus will completely disappears and chromosomes start getting condensing still more they get condensed okay still more they get condensed all these things happen in the dikinesis okay let me repeat once again in dikinesis terminalization of chiasmata will takes place terminalization of chiasmata will takes place then meiotic spindle is going to form that means the uh, centrosomes move towards the opposite pole with the formation of the spindle fibers okay then the nuclear membrane gradually disappears okay nuclear membrane or nuclear envelope gradually disappears chromosomes still get condensed and all other cell organelles will completely disappear okay all these things happen during the prophase one this is going to be the one of the important phase of the meiosis okay and this proof after the completion of diakinesis it is followed by the metaphase one then anaphase one then telophase one next video we are going to discuss regarding metaphase one okay uh, if you like the video then hit the like button get subscribed to my channel okay and share it to all your friends thank you